James Webb's telescope makes terrifying discovery at the edge of the universe. Who would have thought that we would be able to see something 13.5 billion light years away? Or see something that seems to be a bright explosion, like a supernova? Even witness the birth of new stars and their formation in a cosmic tarantula, free of actual spiders, of course. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, these discoveries have been unveiled. Recently, NASA has also announced that the Webb Space Telescope has acquired an image of the cosmic tarantula, fitting in with the spidery theme of Webb's name. Webb's cosmic tarantula is actually the largest and brightest star-forming region in the local group of galaxies nearest our Milky Way called 30 Doradus. Hot, massive stars among the brightest in the sky are born in this stellar nursery. By looking at the Tarantula Nebula with Webb's near-infrared camera, or NERCAM, you'll see something that resembles a burrowing tarantula's home, lined with silk. That seems far-fetched to me, but fine, let's go with it. Webb's image reveals a nebula being carved out by a population of pale blue stars whose stellar winds are relentless. It also has captured images of protostars nestled within their celestial pillars where they sit patiently until their turn to shape the nebula finally comes. Even JWST was able to catch one of these protostars in the act of shedding its cloud of dust and gas. For its age, this star is still cocooned in a blanket of dust to keep it warm. It's still in the early stages of forming a bubble, but it's already a stunning beauty. The Tarantula Nebula has attracted the attention of astronomers because it provides a potential glimpse into the cosmos' distant past. The nebula's chemical composition closely resembles that of those massive star-forming regions when the universe was young. It is where the star formation was like high noon, or an epoch of critical transformations for galaxies. Webb's ability to peer back in time and make out some of the very first galaxies and stars is also one of its most talked about features. Names such as Glass Z13, scientists think it is the farthest starlight ever found. Even more impressive is the fact that this galaxy is believed to be the oldest ever discovered, dating back to only 300 million years after the Big Bang. But as far as galaxies go, this one isn't all that impressive. It has a diameter of 3,500 to 4,500 light years and is home to about a billion stars. The Milky Way, by contrast, spans around 100,000 light years and is home to somewhere between 200 to 300 billion stars. However, the galaxy as it is currently seen is how it looked billions of years ago. Who knows? With time, this small, ancient galaxy would emerge with neighboring galaxies to form a single, gigantic one. But how did they determine the age of Glass Z13? That's because of the red shift, which occurs because light's wavelength gets stretched into the redder end of the spectrum as the universe expands. If something appears redder in an image, it means it has been stretched further and is therefore older. Webb also snapped an image of a galaxy cluster known as SMAX 0723, a speck of light that dates back to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The spectrograph on board was able to detect the presence of heavy elements in the galaxy, especially oxygen. Is it possible that there's life out there? Unfortunately, it's unknown to us at this time. Researchers interested in galaxy structure and star formation within galaxies have benefited greatly from the information JWST has already provided. Young, star-forming regions in the galaxy called NGC 7496 were previously undetected because Hubble's instruments could not see through the dense gas and dust surrounding them. However, JWST is sensitive to infrared light that reflects off the dust, allowing it to explore conditions shortly after stars turned on and nuclear fusion began in their cores. JWST is also exploring extrasolar planets. A less habitable exoplanet, WASP-96b, has also been observed. It is a hot Jupiter with a very close orbit of only 3.4 days around its star. JWST confirmed the existence of water on the planet by detecting vaporized water in the atmosphere. Water vapor was seen by JWST in the atmosphere, providing further proof of the presence of liquid water on the planet. Years of planning and development before JWST finally hit the sky running, given that Webb's mission will span 20 years or more, astronomers are bracing themselves for a period of rapid evolution. Webb has already begun unveiling a universe unlike any seen before and is just getting started on rewriting its story of creation. In some other extremely interesting news, astronomers have found a strange blast in the universe, 
and some are worried about how it could affect us. Click the video on screen now to find out more about it. Thanks for watching.